What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another Thursday flipping investment guide video for you guys today. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you guys do drop a like on the video. I'd like to say that early just so you guys go click the like button on the video. Subscribe if you're new as well. Just putting out a little disclaimer. We are getting very, very close in my opinion of kind of a day where I feel like they're going to drop the middle icon SBC at some point over the next few weeks. I'm not particularly sure when they're going to do it. But anytime you're investing, you always have to make sure that something like that is not coming out. So we obviously don't know when it's going to come out. For all we know, it could come out in two months. So we're still going to do a Thursday flipping investment guide. Obviously, if you guys are scared of losing coins, don't invest. But I'm still going to invest because for me, I don't know when they're going to do it. So it would just be unlucky if they were to decide to release it this week where Future Stars is still you know, kind of in packs. So I don't think they're going to do it this week. I think maybe something of a concern next week. So just kind of like talking to you guys about that. There's a lot of different things you guys can do this week. Now, something I want to talk to you guys about is the team of the week this week is most likely going to be very, very bad. Um, from all the predictions I'm looking at, most of them do not have that many high rated players. And when that happens, and I do think we're going to get messy uh, because they want to somehow get some sort of packs opened. Um, the market's going to go up a lot this week. It's going to go up Thursday and it's going to go up Friday night. As long as there's no prime icon moments this Friday, as long as there's no, I don't think winter refresh or wants to watch would really make prices drop either. So in my opinion, as long as there's no prime icon moments that come out this Friday, you guys could sell not only Thursday night, but you could sell Friday night as well. When the market usually before 6 PM UK time on Saturday is when you want to get out of all your investments. That's the best time. Thursday to Saturday before 6 p.m. UK. Write it down if you guys uh, can't remember that. But Saturday 6 p.m. is the last time you want to get out of any of your stuff. So I'm going to talk about Team of the Year nominees. I'm going to talk about uh, some goals you guys can invest in. I'm doing this on a Monday night because I want to give you guys time to find the prices of certain cards and allows them to kind of go up through the week, obviously. I'm going to talk to you guys about some ropes of the finals that aren't particularly thursday flipping investments but they are investments you can make because ucl does come back in a week and a half so we will talk about that and some future stars is going to be something you guys want to be looking at as well so let's go on to fuppin because this is the kind of episode that or video that is mostly done on fuppin so i first want to look at um popular golds now i think that varan ramos sun uh who else could do well sala um, I get it, Daniel James is out, but at some point, right wings in the prime have to start going up again, and I think when it comes to like three or four days from now, I think people have already done the objective if they decided to. So if people decided to do the, the objective, they were going to already do it. I don't think people are going to be waiting too much longer to go and do it, so I think all the panic selling has kind of stopped. It has to at some point. Um, so like the guys like Mars is in form, uh, Salah... Traore. I like Traore's both in form and scream card this week um, because I do think you're going to see a rebound on those right wings. So Kevin De Bruyne's another one. Sadio Mane at 140. Um, again, like I tell you guys every week, you guys can buy the Dembele's, the Walkers. Um, who else would be good on this on this list? I'm trying to look here. Uh, is there anyone else on this list? Well, you get my point, right? The Semedos, the Dembele's, the Suzuko's even, the Walkers, anything that has, you know, a high pack weight, Linglet as well, anything that has high pack weight, 85 and under, uh, you guys can buy those during rewards, and then you can sell after, obviously, uh, like six to eight hours after when they do rebound. You want to make sure you get out before, um, fut, uh, not fut champs, marquee matchup, like, like packs, because then they will get supplied again, most likely. Everyone wants to do SBCs on Thursday at 6 p.m., so, um, I even like Hazard, like 175. Um, Ramos at like under 60. I like Sun at 190. Uh, I like Salah under 100, man. I, I for for most Salah, I feel like he has to be over 100. So anything under that is fine. Uh, Mane at like 135. Uh, Kante again, always a good Thursday flipper, 250. Usually is a good deal for him. Um, other than that, not really anything interesting in the rare uh, gold category. But I also want to look at the team of the week. So. These are going to be cards that some of them will go up on Thursday. I will caution you guys if they do seem over-invested in, because I know a lot of people that invest in Lukaku, Di Maria, 
uh, and Sancho. I know a lot of people that have invested in all three. If they are like, say for example, Di Maria is 70k by Wednesday night, I would advise you guys to probably take the coins. You probably bought under 50 and that's 20k a card. I would most likely tell you guys to sell that. Lukaku's a different story. Even if he was to go down Thursday, this is a guy that's supposed to be getting a plus one on his rating. So the cheapest 89 in for him is like 50k. I think it's somewhere around there. 50 to 55. So this card with boost as well, he's going to go to minimum 70k, I think. He's going to fly out of packs in my opinion. Uh, I like to see Mobile under like 137, 136. I think he's going to do really well. Another card that is supposed to be getting a plus one. So that'll be a 91 Immobile. Okay. And uh, Sancho. I like Sancho a lot. Again, if that goes to 95 on Wednesday night, I would take the coins. It just seemed like, you know, the more that these cards go up out of packs before Thursday, the more you know it's just being over-invested in people that are buying on the Wednesday and trying to sell Thursday. It's just not going to work. It's going to make the card stagnate or go down in price. So I would look at these kind of cards. 75 and under for Sancho. Or even 77 is fine. Di Maria at 50 and under. That's been my price. Lukaku at 40. Uh, even Firmino is up a lot right now. 342 is kind of high for him. I would say 320 is the max you want to pay. I said a couple days ago, 300 most likely. But, you know, you obviously have to change your price now. Uh, 320 I think would be all right because he should go 350 minimum. Okay, now let's go to future stars. Now you're going to have... Some of these future stars are going to be your best friends this week. I do think you're going to see some movements on some of the future stars. So, some of the ones that I like a ton. Uh, I really like Quebec. Because of the center backs from the Bundesliga and how good the card is. And the amount of rebounds this card had over the last two weeks. I think this card is going to do really well. 220 and under. I think that's a really good deal. He's out of packs, remember. So, there's not going to be any supply coming on, uh, on Thursday. Emerson, again, I feel like is a car that has continued to rise through this week. So maybe 180 is a good price for him. I like that a ton. Um, who else would I like? I like Aaron's like 95. I like Kamara under like 160. I think these cards are going to continue to rise, most likely. Um, I'm not a fan of Diaby. I'm not a fan of Martinez. Not really a fan of Dembele either. Although if you get him under 100, it doesn't. it's not the worst deal because he should go 110 on Thursday minimum. So, I would look at the future stars, man. I really, really would. Okay. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the icon market. Now, there's been some skepticism about the icon market recently because, obviously, prime icon moments could come out and we could have the middle icon SPC coming out at any time. So, if you see somebody trying to panic sell an icon or you see an icon getting low over the next two days, I would probably just pull the trigger. Um, icons are usually the most consistent cards that would always rise on Thursdays because if people pack certain future star cards they want to use in their team, how are they going to link, for example, uh, if we go to future stars too, how are they going to link here uh, Felipe, uh, Luis Felipe and Sar? They're not going to be able to link him unless you get an icon which would link to both pretty much. Um, or like a, a Tomori to a Palacios, you get an icon at center mid or center attacking mid, etc. So, icons again, I think are going to do really, really well. Okay. Um, try to find them like 15, 20k under the current price and just kind of see them rise into Thursday. That's what I would do. Always make sure you guys are checking this kind of index. Okay. It's always showing what's down about 7 to 8%. So, if we look at this gigs right here, 165 is low because I sold this card at 182 last week and i bought it at 166 so that's about 7k a card now if you look at the fluctuation here he's 179 to 180 multiple times of the day which means that you need to get him under 170 because he is most likely going to go to 185 uh during uh rewards so the other thing you guys could do with the icons is obviously during rewards you want to bit put basic on if you're up for rewards or you're staying up late um, look at icons, basic, go to each position, right? Defenders, midfielders, or forwards. And then you kind of search whatever is in your price range. If you have some leftover coins, maybe you have four or 500k, put like up to 400 and see like how many, you know, how many deals you can actually find, um, during rewards. Because there's a lot of people that are packing these cards, a lot of rewards that get opened on, uh, on Thursday. And something I would also mention, we don't have another promo that's confirmed for this week. So I doubt anyone is going to be um anyone's going to be saving their rewards i think you're going to see a full market increase this week you're not going to see anybody really um waiting for friday to open their rewards i think it's just going to be open tomorrow or thursday my fault 
Um, so that's the thing. That's the deal with icons. Um, I would also like with baby icons. They're out of packs, so any baby icons you can find at a cheaper price. I would look at the baby versions because a lot of these cards, again, like I said, are out of pack. So maybe I'm looking at like a, a baby hero. It's probably not a great example because he's in swaps. But even if you were to see like a, ca a car like this go down, and we've seen a lot of movements on icons from Team of the Year. I mean, you've seen like 20 20 percent increases in price from Team of the Year. Uh, this car was as low as like 310. He's now up at like 370. Even though he's the easiest to get from swaps, people are still going out and getting him. Um, the usual, obviously, in terms of informs and other specials, look at like inform Allen, inform Martial, inform Ben Yedder, uh, inform who would be it? inform Rashford, right? You would look at like those kind of cards. See, see if you could find a deal. Now I'm looking at this um, this Allen here with a shadow. I particularly want 130 and if you get a deal today tomorrow whatever it may be that's good because you can keep listing for lazy buyers and you can most likely just keep listing higher and higher as the price goes higher uh, and if you get a lazy sale you know what you go buy again that's kind of the reason why we do this and we buy so early because you see cards jumping up 10% minimum and you know you get a lot of profit from it um, I would say on the, I would try to get Hunters and Shadows on a lot of these cards. You know, since you do have two days to do this, try to find deals like on, um, on Shadows and Hunters. If they're a Defender, try to look for a Shadow because those are things you can sell. Even if you don't get a great price for them, you could still get, um, a little bit extra and maybe just either break even or you can make a little bit of coins that you may not have made if it just had a regular chem style on it. So definitely take a look at that. I, I would always trust to you guys to get the Hunters and the Shadows, depending on what position they are. I would also, um, because the Team of the Week is not great this week, there's not going to be much much Link investments. So that's something you guys really don't need to do and not have to worry about this week. Um, what else was I going to say? There was something else I wanted to kind of talk about. Road to the Finals, I think they're just going to gradually keep rising until... Um, until their games. So for me, I would sell before their game, just kind of take the profit on them. All right. So if we look at this Mares right here, and then I'm gonna have to get a, I have to get to a lot of these. So this is what price? 171 a hunter. He was like 175 earlier. So maybe this is leading me to believe he's like 165 potentially. Maybe 165. Probably not. No, 170. So you want to look like 165, 160 for this. I also like Sancho because he's gonna get. A plus one most likely so if you can get this card maybe at like I don't know like maybe like 165 again because his road to the final will be a he'll be 88 overall so this car will definitely get bought up on Thursday I think you're gonna see some of these road to the finals moving a good amount this week because this is when people are gonna have coins from rewards and they're now thinking about the UCL games they know that the UCL games are next week so I do think you're gonna see a lot of buying uh, on the roads to the finals, especially the lower tier ones. Now, I'm going to go to the roads to the final team just to show you guys kind of some of the ones that I like. But I think that this is really good for you guys to look at as roads to the final cards. Uh, try to find them on their low, you know, for their fluctuations. So maybe who would I look at? I look at like Parte, like 105, because he's a card that usually does go up during, um, during rewards anyway. Okay. And then. For the Roads to the Final 1 team, I would look at Allen. I love Allen. 245 and under. I like Sancho at 165. I love Mars at 165. Um, I like Juan Jesus at 95 because this card, again, has a lot of hype. I know his price range is 120, but at some point, he's going to go like 110, 115. So I would say 95 for this is good. Um, Vas, very, very good card. Uh, and people like to use this for Weekend League. 83, 84. Jimenez is going to be getting an upgrade, most likely, based off he has two informs this year already. So I look at Jimenez like 32, 33. It's a little low-budget investment you guys can work on. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much Roads to the Finals. Is there one last thing I want to talk to you guys about after that? Like I said, Roads to the Finals, or not Roads to the Finals, uh, Team Leader nominees. Again, same thing. Mohamed Salah, 315, usually goes to 350. Luka Modric, 110, 112. Um... I would look at Allison 120. I would look at Aguero 190. I would look at 
uh royce 290 a bombing 350 that's a good price he was three year 350 earlier there wait a second don't tell me that's on the market because i'm gonna go buy that because that's a 25k undercut from where he was at points today i don't think that's gonna be on the market i really don't if it is uh and no one cleared it we're gonna go and buy that right now because i know that's gonna go up in price this thursday people love using this abamian card i doubt it's on the market i actually doubt it yo okay okay i'm gonna pay attention to this okay this is good okay okay 350 two at 350 that's pretty damn good you just saw me search for 370 and i mean there's not many like you could easily get 375 for this card so i'm gonna take a look at that price get on bids like i was just uh looking at get on bids for these cards don't always just set settle for the um for the buy now price always try to get a better price especially because i'm giving you this video so early on uh i would also look at this gomez he does really well um with a hunter as well he went from 75 today all the way to like 86 on the weekend so i'll take a look at that like i said the sancho carver hall's in form you can look at as well uh winaldum team leader nominee usually does well for the mendy some of the left backs should increase in price like the robertsons the mendy's uh the second in form hernandez the first in form hernandez any of those cards should do all right um four awards this week so i hope you guys did enjoy the video i'm gonna try to get uh this card on bid and see what happens with maybe 335 is what i'm kind of hoping for because he's been 370 all day so thanks for watching appreciate it comment subscribe if you're new around here and i'll talk to you guys in a video soon peace out